Today we're headed to Washington State. Find a little bridge. She got her mask on. We're taking you to Washougal, the land of MX. Infection went well. There's cases of beer in there. It's your 7 a.m. wake up call. Holy oh cow! Ready for some racing? <laughs> then we're off for Oregon, where we'll ride the dunes, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> Driving from Oregon to Washington here, over a super sketchy bridge. Find a bridge. Washington welcomes you with a $15 toll. Yeah, I did. Are you going to watch it? You got $15. That's insane, dude. I know. I did not like that. This is a toll bridge spanning the Columbia River. It's super skinny. We didn't enjoy it very much. Are you pulling the car? Yes, I am. That's $15. Man. So she got her mask on. We're on the way to Washougal, Washington for a professional motocross race. This is probably the most beautiful race of the year. It will be our second time attending this event. You ready for Washougal? Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. They have lots of rules. Yeah. I've been to a lot of motocross races, pro motocross. None of them have all the rules this track has. They want to inspect your RV, no alcohol at all. Don't worry, they're just going to let us pass, honey. I'm pregnant. Like, yeah. this girl's not partying. Yeah. It is the most beautiful track, though, for sure. One of the things we like most about sailing is getting away from all the rules and regulations. Being on land forces us to deal with them again. I guess I should get in line. I don't know. I'm gonna get in line. Yeah. Good. One more. Now to unhook the Jeep. First, the brake system comes out. This applies the Jeep's brakes when the RV does. Then we remove the towing gear. This is a first come, first served type of camping spot. We ended up down by the starting line and set ourselves up for the weekend. Inspection went well. Yeah, it went good. Because we cooked our beer back there. Oh my gosh, you naughty, naughty child. Hey, I better do some laundry. <laughs> oh wait, there's cases of beer in there. Oh, you're a rebel. Yeah, and then, um, got to the trash you out. Give me some trash? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah. You're gonna be in so much trouble. You're gonna see this and they're gonna be like, he's never allowed back. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're not the only one. What isn't right is that we live on our RV. Yeah, like, you know, there's something that we don't drink. We're not bringing it in to pound all the beer and stuff. It's just we have some. Yeah, like, what do you, like, when you live on it, what are you we're supposed gonna to do? The beer. They should gonna, see our boat. We're gonna buy the IPAs, you know? So I understand they're trying to make money, but. A little ridiculous, I think. Well, it went well. Are you happy with the spot? Yeah, man, we're right behind the starting gate. The camping situation here is kind of like just find a spot. And you know, even though this today's Wednesday, the race isn't until Saturday, the place is already full of campers because everybody comes to stage as their camper. I can't believe we found a spot a couple years ago when we came. Several years ago, we rented an RV, grabbed the older kids and our friend Mark, and drove overnight to attend the same race. We are in Washougal. You ready? Yeah. I saw our spot from last year. Yeah, it was full. I mean, not last year, six, five years ago. Yeah, it was all full. The next morning, we woke up to the joys of being camped next to the starting gate. It's your 7 a.m. wake up call. How are you sleeping? Oh, the bikes. Oh, that's like a, that just caresses me. It caresses you, okay. Yeah, after a night of some beers for you, I'm sure. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's been going on since uh, our campsite right next to the starting line. 
Yes, it is. It's a great spot. It's just you you won't sleep. I have coffee ready and I'm lonely. We got our handy dandy French press here, just the same one we got on the boat. But we love it. it doesn't take up very much space. It's durable. Don't get a glass one. I've already shattered one. It's fantastic. It makes about two cups of coffee. This is such a beautiful location to have this race. It's been open since 1972, only missing hosting one pro race in 1980 due to the Mount St. Helens eruption, mere miles away. It's famous for racing through the huge trees in the soft brown dirt. The days before the race were filled with relaxing and enjoying watching Reese ride his bike around. He even got to ride it on the same track as the pros will. But take off at Washougal, baby. <laughs> and of course, the Premier Class, the 450s. This is kind of a big deal. Reese likes honking the horn for his favorite rider, usually Ken Roxon. We've raised the jacks and are on the way to Oregon. We really don't have any specific plans of what to do there yet. Have you been to Oregon before? No, well, we've driven through it, but I haven't hung out there. I keep seeing signs for like ATV rentals and dunes, Oregon dunes. 11 miles so we reach our destination. You guys ready to go to the dunes? Ready. You yeah. ready, Reese? Yeah. Reese doesn't know how to ride, but we're going to throw him on a motorcycle and let him go. What are you making there? This is an egg sandwich. So today you guys are going to head over and ride some four-wheelers. I think I'm going to get a Raptor and then he's either going to ride with me or they have a little their kid, kid dirt bike, so we'll see how he does. Uh, try to put them on there, see if you can put around. Not kid dirt bikes, they have kid four-wheelers. Oh yeah, kid four-wheelers, yeah. Throw them on one and see how he does. He's got to learn how to ride, now he has a dirt bike. Mommy can't go, but you guys will have fun. Yeah, sorry mom. No. We made you this lovely bland egg breakfast. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, no, no acid reflux with that. I think I'll go grab some groceries while you guys are going. You're gonna have a great time. Yeah. I'd much rather go riding, but this baby belly is getting big. I think I'll skip this one. Push, 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 push. Mm. How does that feel? Does that feel good? Let me know whenever you're ready. Yeah, you're all good? Yeah. Nice. You go and hop on. You ready? I don't even know how to stop it. <laughs> While at Washougal, we actually bought Reese a dirt bike. We keep him involved in sports. He wants to be a dirt bike rider, but we decided to start him on four wheels. Today is the day. Daddy rides, so he has a good coach to get him started. Are you ready to put around? The Oregon dunes are awesome. It's an area you can ride at. The dunes go all the way to the beach. Well, I'm totally freaking out. Nothing like watching your seven-year-old who's never operated a motor. I guess he's operated the boat. Um, but the boat moves so slow. Ugh, please. But this is good for him. Um, we've always been a motocross type of family and we'd like him to be able to do that and not miss out on it just because we do boating lifestyle. I am gonna go grocery shop instead. They took a little time to get Reese familiar with the controls. Then they were off. Was able to find a Safeway little grocery store. So I'm gonna go in there, grab some groceries. It'll be nice because usually we're like, go, go, go. And Jeremiah literally like curbside drops me off. I run to the store as quick as I can and I come back out. So it's nice to have like at least an hour or two grocery shop. So what do you think of riding? Good. Is it fun? This is Reese's first time on a, anything motorized by himself. I like it. We're gonna go do a little bit of the dunes here 
now that you're feeling good about controlling your bike. Dad rides. Reese has three older sisters that ride, so this only makes sense. Reese is seven now. Hopefully, this is the start of a lifetime of fun. time you like it yeah. Aww. that's awesome coming up you guys look um, a little bundled up back there we're headed south it's it good do you want to drink no why i got the shit out of that creek back there lovely creeks and big trees the trees are huge man where'd you hear that school bus. come explore the redwoods with us you can drive through these redwood trees nah nah here we go Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week. What's up? We're out here at Antlers RV Park and Campground. We got some that lead down to the um, bay. Um, behind me, I, we got this pretty snazzy RV here, as you can see. Oh, there's Dad. I'll take you for a quick tour. We got the factory Yamaha. Little park over there. Yeah, this is basically our home for tonight. And then I think tomorrow we're gonna sit here again. It's like a normal RV, right? Exactly. But when you have two sisters and one girlfriend that are the same age as the sisters, it gets a little chaotic. Let me take you inside.